Jaja's anxiety to help his mom ill and not listening to advice got him duped. The same doctor to me advised him against took 800,000 naira from him, only for him to find out later that his hospital has been shut down years ago for unethical medical practices. He was thankful he didn't send the full payment to the doctor. When Jaja told to me about it, she wondered what kind of doctor he was, who asked for payment without even seeing the patient. Jaja was, however, very disappointed because the doctor had already given him hope. Later that day, Jaja almost called her malaria and Coinsola discussing, and when he asked about the two glass of wine Coinsola was holding, she lied. Jaja was then frustrated about the whole thing. He busted it to tears while feeding his mom. He told her that he was very sorry that he couldn't help her as he had thought. Coinsola really felt for him. She then suggested that she invite one of her friends pastor. She wanted them to give it another try. Jaja asked when Coinsola started believing in pastors. Coinsola replied that she never stopped. Jaja then accepted and said that he needed all the help he could get to get Omolara healed. Well, Coinsola invited the pastor to pray for Omolara, and within one minute of prayer, you can't believe it, Omolara stood up from the wheelchair. Jaja and Tumi were the only one really surprised because the rest of them were definitely acting. They all shouted for joy, and tears of joy filled Omolara's eyes and Jaja's eyes for miracles. Well, after that, Coinsola gave the man who acted like the pastor a huge envelope. It was a fake pastor after all. At the Kuti's appointment, Yaba and Hebu noticed that Midi's phone was ringing, but he refused to pick his calls. When they asked him, he said that it was a strange number and didn't want to pick it. Ebu asked if it was Percy and Rambo because she heard that they were released from the prison. Midi pretended as if he just knew about it. Yabo advised him to run away from them if he sees them. Little did they know that Midi has already gone to steam with, with them. Midi went out to meet Percy and Rambo at Paulina's bar. He wanted to talk to them about Biggie. Percy and Rambo, however, did not see any reason to talk about Biggie because they claimed that it cannot do anything. Midi reminded them that he has killed, kidnapped his sister in the past, so he doesn't want any harm near his family. Later on, Biggie double-crossed Mide. He asked him why he was ignoring his cause. He threatened him, poisoning a gun at him, that if he doesn't do what he asked him to do, he will report all his robbery hacks to the police and wipe his whole family out. When Mide reported Biggie to his friends, he told them that he needed their help, but Rambo and Percy said they can never go back to robbery, and if they allow Biggie to use them once, they will continue to answer to him for the rest of their lives, and they don't want to go back to prison. Percy suggested that they shot Biggie up permanently by killing him, but as they were discussing, Biggie showed up at their bag, and they were so terrified to see him. At the Adelike's mansion, Commissioner Adelike was seen rejoicing and at the same time surprised about Humalara's miracle. He wondered how the miracle could happen just like that, so quick. He said he had always believed in miracles, but that was exceptional. Ura said that she never believed in miracles. All she knows is that people fake being sick and pastor acts and fake deliverance. Humalara quickly replied that that's what she had always thought until it happened to her. She thanked Coinsola for a bold step of faith. She then stood up to appreciate Wura for how she treated her when she was paralyzed. Omolara told Wura that she could see and hear everything. They understood themselves, but it was passing another message to the rest of the family members. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the review of latest interesting Hollywood movie and also turn on your notifications. If you like my videos, kindly put a thumbs up. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching.